I'm here today finally with my Marks and Spencers jeans edit. My name's Fawn, this is my happy place and I come here to talk to my friends and I have so many wonderful friends. I, it takes a bad time to show you just how lucky you are and certainly that has happened to me over the last couple of weeks. Anyway, about the jeans. I've got about 11 pairs, I think it is. Either 9 or 11, I can't remember now. They are all a size 18. Now, <laughs> I will have a lot of rollover in them. I am an apple shape, so I'm wider at my waist than I am at my bum and my hips. I have in the past bought jeans that fitted around my middle with absolutely minimal rolls. But what actually happens is they fall down all the time. <laughs> Because jeans and trousers and things like that generally need hips to anchor onto and my hips have disappeared because of my waist. So I'm going to show, I'm just wearing a cream t-shirt, you're going to see all the lumps and bumps, but actually the lumps and bumps are not my main focus. My main focus is how do they feel and how do they fit? Do they sit snugly on me? Do they wrinkle? Do they, all that sort of thing. Are they high enough waisted, low enough waisted? Where should I be with a pair of jeans? Because when you go into places like Marks and Spencers or really anywhere these days, they've given names to everything. Boyfriend, mom cuts, and Marks and Spencers have like Sophia and Ivy. I mean, what does that mean in the real world? So that's what this is about. I am trying to find jeans that I can wear and feel comfortable in and what I do obviously is I put a baggy shirt on, I put a sweatshirt, a jumper, um, a blouse, something to disguise the folds, the rolls because I have no choice, they're there, that is my shape. <laughs> so they're all a size 18 as I say, I will announce what they are, um, you know their name and the details and their prices as I try them but yeah let's just do this and let's have a bit of a laugh because I think some of these are going to look absolutely dreadful. <laughs> Here we go. So I thought I'd start with the mom jean. What I can tell is that they're baggy. That's the mom jean. They're quite high-waisted but not extremely high-waisted. You can see my rolls. Let's ignore them. Okay guys. They're £39.50. They're actually nine pairs of jeans I bought, not 11. I've tried to buy them all in a slightly darker denim because I do think that the darker denim is kinder to a bigger body. Um, so as you can see, they're very baggy trouser style. They are over the bum as well. I am not convinced that these are the most flattering thing for something of my body shape. I can't speak for anyone else, obviously. Um, in Marks and Spencers, I am now short. <laughs> They've recently changed their leg length sizings. So a short is up to about 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, then they do regular, which is a taller girl, and then they do extra. And they do extra small as well. So they've brought, I think it's about four leg lengths now, and I class as a short. Uh, as I say, they're £39.50. They're a very stiff, what I would call an old school denim. So there's not as much give in them. I mean, all denim gives, but then there isn't a big stretch component to these. Um, I could certainly, you know, get on with life because the legs are baggy enough that there's no restriction there. Um, I just don't feel, yeah, I don't feel that they're tremendously flattering. I actually feel, because obviously they've done this, but I actually feel like they've added more poundage in this area. I would say the mom jean is a great jean for somebody who is bottom heavy. If you're pear shaped, I could see these really, I don't, I have very narrow little hips. My hips here, or the tops of my legs, whatever you want to call it, are narrower than my middle. So to add bulk there is not kind. Whereas if I had a teeny waist and a curvier bum, thicker thighs, I think these could be great. But for me, the mom jean, that's a no. Okay, this pair is called the Lily, and they're such a good price. They're £19.50. They're a slim leg, which I like very much. I do like the leg on these, but they're a little, they're not high-waisted. They're, I would say, a medium waist. Certainly on me, they're a medium waist, which means they are hitting in a really quite ugly 
place. As I say, that's not the most important thing, but it feels like, because they're sitting there, I sort of want to wake them up. It doesn't feel comfortable, them sitting there. I think if you are a slim lady, these are fabulous. There's stretch in them, lots of stretch in them. You can do anything. They're surprised. <laughs> I'm amazed how comfortable they are, considering where they're sitting on me, on my body. Um, I'm not sure about the pockets being quite so low. That feels slightly odd that the pocket sort of ends on the back of my leg. But I think they fit really nicely over the bum. But again, I want to hoik them up. I think I, you know, I definitely need a proper or maybe an extreme high waist to be really, really comfortable. But these are fabulous, fabulous jeans. Um, I would imagine that this start, obviously this size is not right, it's an 18. But I can see my mother wearing these is what I was about to say. <laughs> She's a very slim lady. She has that sort of 1950s small waist flare to the hip. I can see her in these. I can see her rocking these. And as I say, they are so comfortable considering they don't fit me well. They are really, really comfortable. And 19 pounds 50, I think they're an absolute steal. This is the Eva or Ava boot cut. Again, I believe, yes, 1950. They feel wonderful, but they're actually not fitting me very well at all. The others weren't working, but these are really not working. They're giving me that awful um, line here because my lap budgie sits there and then there's a bit of vacancy. <laughs> so I get this glorious line here. So these would have to be worn with a very, very long top. They are so comfortable, guys. Now, what I did do was I went up from the short leg that they say I am, that, that, blah, 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 that they say I am to a regular because I feel, shoot me if I'm wrong, <laughs> boot cuts I always wear with a heel. I would never wear a boot cut jean with a flat boot. So then I want the jeans longer. So I'm hoping that was going to be seen. If you can imagine in a boot, I think the regular length would be better on me, just would be better on me. Um, they feel fabulous. They feel so <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I did say they're 1950. They're just so comfortable. It's just, for me, this issue here is not kind. But then I don't wear t-shirts like this. Now, I did bring in a blouse. This is a, a shirt I bought recently from a company called Capsule. Um, to wear as an over shirt and it hides that bit and I think you'll agree I need to do them up and all that but I think you'd agree with me that it looks better and it does hide that issue so these are definite possibles for the for a boot cut because the stretch I mean again they're not interfering with anything they're not I like the pocket 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 placement is not so low down my leg I think it's in a good place I think they fit my bum really quite nicely um, I'm impressed with these for 20 pounds nice pair of heel boots um, I think they're there they're there or thereabouts the issues with you know things like it's as much my body as the jean but with a shirt on hiding that I feel fine so these I'm very pleased with. Next we move on to the carry. This is a skinny high rise so I like where it's coming on my waist. I have to say straight away it feels more comfortable, more secure for me. Um, what I didn't notice because I don't, you know, I didn't, I just went on and I ordered every name I could find. These have a frayed hem but they come part way up the leg. They're not meant to get all the way to the bottom if you follow me. They're meant to be slightly short which I think is a bit odd, <laughs> but they would go into boots fabulously. I've never known a jean with so little extra fabric here. So if you are someone who likes to wear boots with jeans, these are a fabulous pick because you won't have all these rucks of denim that you're trying to force into a nice boot. Um, they are so comfortable. They really are so, so comfortable. Again, the, the pockets, I like where they are. It fits really nicely here, feels really comfortable. Um, as I say, I love the fact that they're high waist. That's always gonna be a big winner with me. It's not as pronounced, the issue here, 
is still there. I think I'll find it in every pair of jeans I've put on. But it's not as pronounced. Something about the cut is not quite so pronounced. They are very skinny in the leg. So have skinny legs, girls. Considering these are an 18, I have skinny legs. I wouldn't want to be much bigger in the leg to put these on because, you know, they really are cut very tight. And actually, I like them less because I feel that they're doing this sort of rippling rucking that can happen when a pair of jeans are, are just, you know, they're, they're cut too tight. There's just not enough room. You see they're doing it again there. So I'm, I think you need to be very skinny for the carry. I mean, it is a skinny cut jean, but I mean, skinny cut jeans are cut for big ladies too. I think you need to be very skinny for a carry. But as I say, if you are someone who loves to tuck your jeans in your boots, these are the bomb.com because these will slide in. It's like wearing a sock from the knee down. It's so close fitting um, and you won't have any bulk around the ankle bone and all of that. So I do like them. I do like them. These are ones I'm going to have to think about, think about how will I wear them? What will I wear them with? But I am very tempted. I do have some really nice boots that my hubby bought me for Christmas. Moshaloo boots. And I think they would go on with these jeans really great. So ooh, that's something to think about on these ones. But comfortable, oh yes. And I think the price is good. You know, it's not £20, but it's 30 The others were 40 So, you know, they're somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah, not sure. I think this is a pair of jeans. I'd need a friend to say, yeah, they work for or No, get them off, girl. <laughs> on we go to boyfriend jeans. I always wonder what made a boyfriend jean a boyfriend jean. And the fact is, they're oversized, is what they mean. These are a mid-rise. Is that pocket in properly? Yes, it is in properly. <laughs> These are a mid-rise. They're definitely not a high-rise. They're a mid-rise, which I think is particularly unflattering on an apple. <laughs> I'll get that out there straight away. These are 39.50. So again, these are the heavier, thicker denim they don't have as much stretch in them but because of the style of jean because it's a very baggy leg there's no restriction these are terribly terribly comfortable and um, they put turnips on them which i think you can turn down if you want to yes you can i won't bother they just look like an ordinary jean i can see these with sort of a hikey type boot a flat boot um a nice jumper i mean these are really very very nice jeans if you're not an apple i would say these are great going out walking getting on with life jeans um as i say though i'm not convinced that they're the kindest thing for me but i did notice that the side view is actually better because there's all this extra fabric here it's not cupping back in under my stomach, it's actually staying proud of my stomach. So they're actually not bad. I'm, mm, I will be looking at the film of these with great interest because they're very comfortable. They would so suit my life working with the animals and, and all of that sort of thing. I just wish they were high-waisted. That would be lovely if they were high-waisted. Um, but they don't feel as, as if they're I was going to say highlighting, that's the wrong word. I don't feel like they're accentuating my flaws. I feel like they're skimming a lot of my flaws. So I'm quite impressed with these boyfriend jeans. Um, yeah, <laughs> jury's out on these ones until I see the film of me in them. But I, I think they're not bad. Moving on, these are the Sienna Straight. They are £19.50. They are a slight high rise. They're not an extreme, but they are coming high enough that they feel quite comfortable for me. I think the fit over the bum is great. I like where the pockets are. There is room. I don't feel, I mean, they feel snug like jeans should be. You need them to be, but I don't feel like I'm being strangled. Um, I think the length on them is very, very good. And I like this you know, it's a straight leg, so it's loose enough that you've got lots of movement in there, but they're not oversized in any way. These, again, terribly, terribly comfortable. Stretching these, 
For 1950, I think these are outstanding. Um, they do cup the tummy a bit, but not as much as some of the others. There is a little bit of, of movement there. So with the right shirt, <laughs> only if I think it's worth it will I put the shirt on. <laughs> if I think it'll add anything. So, oops a daisy. Here we go. Now I would wear these all day long. These are really, really comfortable. Um, I like the length on them. I love the dark dye on them. I think that's a great jean. Um, these may be my winner. I mean, I've got more to try, but these may be my winner for just a casual, comfortable pair of jeans that I can dress up or dress down and get on with my life in. So, and 1950. Right. These are the carry skinny high rise. I love where they're coming on my waist. I'm going to start there. I love where they're coming on my waist. It's so comfortable for me, for my shape. It's great. It's pushed a certain amount of fat up, a certain amount of fat down, and I can live with where they are. Um, they feel really nice on. I think, again, on the bum, I think they're very good. I like that the pockets are that bit higher. Um, I think, you know, they do a good job on the bum. Because they're skinny, they are really highlighting this lap buddy situation that I have. But again, long enough top it wouldn't be an issue. I like the fact that like the other pair, they are a frayed hem and very skinny to the legs. So again, these are stick your wellies on, stick a fancy pair of high boots on, depending on your lifestyle. And you won't feel like you've got a ton of fabric down in those boots. But... They're doing what the other ones did. They're doing this rucking business. I don't know why. If I pull the size, if I show you, oh God, I look terrible, guys. If I pull the side seams up, these rucks disappear and they become a really great pair of jeans. But when I pull that down, they do this rucking. Now, I thought maybe it was me not pulling them up high enough but honestly I couldn't pull them any higher without it becoming a bit of an issue <laughs> at the front so the rucking is an issue for me now if you don't mind that then these are fabulous jeans not sure how I feel about it but a pair of jeans that I could put on in the morning with a jumper fling my feet into my wellies and get off down the horses these answer the brief um, so I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure what to say or what to make of them, but they're beautifully comfortable, again, I think these are the most sort of um, pull on the knee when you lift your leg up, because they are the tightest, but there is plenty of stretch in them, and again, I mean, these are 29.50, which I think is a good price, so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to look at the footage. These ones are just called Slim Flare. They are uh, $29.50. I was putting them on and I was thinking how different it is. When I was, you know, 17, 16, 17, I lived and died in jeans. I always liked my dresses, but I lived and died in jeans because that's what we all did. And jeans were so much heavier then. These pulling them on, it does feel like there's a ton of lycra in them, which is really nice. I mean, it just makes the comfort of jeans when you're not, you know, a, a, a sweet little figure so much nicer. And I mean, I, I used to be a size eight, guys. <laughs> so I have known what it is to wear <laughs> um, slim fisting ones. These, you know, they felt great pulling on. I like where the waist is on them. I think the waist is great. It's high rise enough for me. Um, they're very long. I had to get a regular in these. I could not get a short in these. And I think even with boots on, they would still be too long. So a regular now, I'm five foot five, is too long. But when I lift up, the trousers drop a little bit down. You know, the leg of the trouser drops down. And I think they're quite flattering. They're not flattering at all over my lap, buddy. Um, I think they're not quite the worst, but they're up there with the worst for the way that they are cupping my lap buddy, which would only improve if I got a bit of a lap buddy off, wouldn't it really? The bum on them is great. Really, really like the placement, the shaping, what it does to my bum, I think is quite good. Um, 
I like these. I actually prefer these to the boot cut ones. These feel because they're slimmer here than flaring. So I prefer these to boot cut. Obviously these are no good because they're too long. But if I was going to get a boot cut or, or that kind of style, I would go for the slim flare rather than the boot cut cut of jean. Um, they are lovely and stretchy. No issues at all with bending and stretching and getting on with life. And as I say, I like where the waist is coming on it. I've got like one of my worst t-shirts on for showing you this, because this, but I wanted you to be able to see it. So this is a very thin knit t-shirt and it just loves to cup. <laughs> cup with great joy, whatever is going on here. But I wanted you to see them in all their, if I had the confidence, I'd have done it just in my bra, but honestly, that just would have been, no, I never run about confidence. It, it would have had to have come with a warning, wouldn't it? But anyway, I think they're great boots. They're great boots, great jeans. I will be trying these again at some point in the short because I think that these are the ones that I would wear with a little heeled ankle boot, something like those. They just have a nice, a nice feel to them. But it's hard to judge properly because they are very much, can you see that? Very much too long. Last, but by no means least, is the Sophia. The Sophia is 29.50. They're a straight cut high rise. I can feel that the high rise, they're, they're comfortable. Where they're sitting is just, it's my sweet spot. So I do really like a high rise. I think they fit really well over my bum. I think there's, there's no extra bagging, but they're not so tight that I'm getting a flat bum. They are cupping <laughs> my fat buddy, but not as much as some. I mean, I've got to accept a certain amount of that because that's the limitations that my body puts on any outfit, you know? <laughs> they can cut it as much as they like, but my lap buddy says, hey, I'm here. So <laughs> they're a lovely length. I mean, they're just, they, they are literally a lovely length for wearing. Um, they feel very, very, comfortable, very, very wearable. Um, you know, that sounds mad, but you know how you can have jeans. They look great, but you can only tolerate them for a certain amount of time and then you've got to take them off. These feel like, you know, you could do a full day in these. It wouldn't be a problem at all. Um, I'm really impressed with these. So yeah, the Sophia. So there we go, nine pairs of as close to indigo blue jeans as I could manage, all in a size 18 and they range from £19.50 to £39.50. For me, the winners are the ones that I still have on, the last ones that I tried, which are the Sophia and the Sienna. They're both straight and they're both high-waisted in their cut. Does this one even say high-waisted? The Sienna's, don't say high-waisted, but they came quite high on me, unless, of course, I was hoiking them beyond what I was meant to be doing. But I liked them. Uh, and they were both, oh no, the Sienna is 19.50, and the Sophia is 29.50. Now that's the thing, are the last ones worth 10 pounds more? Hmm, I'm gonna be watching back this video with great fascination, because it is very hard to see. And to be honest, <laughs> Once you've got to sort of gene number five, <laughs> you're a bit like, yes, I got them on. Oh my God, you know, you're not really taking it in properly. So this is a real experiment doing nine pairs of jeans. Um, I've learned a lot, like I prefer a slim flare to a boot cut. Didn't know that. Like, I actually quite like a boyfriend jean not those ones, but a boyfriend jean, I would definitely try again because I liked that sort of oversizedness. Like that I think mom jeans should be left to people who are really, really skinny because if you've got any shape to you at all, a mom jean is just gonna balloon that out even more. And that I need to stop buying skinnies. They're not kind. I've got these skinny little legs and they wrap tightly around my skinny little legs and then I go bloop out like um like a tomato. <laughs> so skinnies, though great on the legs, are absolutely the worst thing for 
over my stomach around my waist so I've learned quite a bit I hope you have too and you've seen some jeans that you think I could try those I could definitely try those because I would say that with all of these obviously I was judging them based on my figure but I could see how some of those jeans would really really work on different shapes so anyway there we go as you can see I'm feeling quite a bit better I finally got a good night's sleep last night um I'm a stressor as you know I'm a, I'm a worrier and with the animals it has been very very difficult uh, Danny is still here uh, I can see him actually out of the window um, you know Danny's been with us 17 nearly 18 years and because unlike a dog or a cat a horse you have to really think about them they cannot fend for themselves and you can't just buy a house or a flat or a move in with a horse <laughs> it can't be done so a horse takes up a lot more of of your planning and your thinking and and you become you're not a family of four that happens to have a dog looking for a house you're a family of four with a horse so you've <laughs> really he's taken up a much larger part of my life um than my other pets have um he's been with us as i say the longest and i believe from the bottom of my heart i believe that danny um I think he may have saved my daughter's life at a time when she was really struggling um her father and I were divorcing that was when we got Danny um <laughs> I've had to work extra shifts to keep Danny but he became my daughter's very very best friend and a focus in life at a time when she was really struggling that's her story so I'm not going to go into any more details but I will say she was a 13 year old girl whose parents were divorcing having to move schools and house and was really really and I think you can imagine um, and Danny came along and she fell in love and it's been a love story ever since so I mean of all of the animals here this is gonna sound awful but of all of the outside animals okay Danny is Dan so it's been terribly tough but I'm kind of getting to that point of accepting it we're spending a lot of time with him uh, I've got my smile back <laughs> I was able to sleep last night um, so I am feeling a lot better than I was anyway that's what I was trying to say <laughs> all those of you out there that have got in touch with me and said oh you know I've got a dog I've got a cat I've got a horse I've got a goat I've got a you get what I'm saying animals just have that way of sneaking into your heart and the funny thing is see I'm still talking too much but hang on the funny thing is, when we uh, found Danny, bought Danny, we, we, we'd we been to lots of horses, you know, people were advertising. We got there. Danny was a very unhappy man. <laughs> uh, he was seven, nearly eight. And we opened the stable door and he sort of looked at us and then he just turned around so that we could see his bum, put his head in the corner of the stable and refused to look at us. He was a very unhappy, unhappy where he was, unhappy with what was going on. And we were a bit concerned. We knew then that we were getting a horse that had um, strong feelings, shall we say, some issues, but it worked for us. And I remember the first time that we went and, and I, you know, I walked up to his stable well, Jay was at school and this head shot out over the over the gate and he was like a different creature. So we saw him um, evolve alongside my daughter. So he is very special. See, I keep woof, woof, woof. I've got to get over this, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this isn't too long and too boring. And I will see you again really, really soon. Goodbye, guys.